Saudal Kaduna People's Union. Well, many thanks for staying with us. You're watching the news update on Galaxy Television. I am Justin uh, Kadonye, and here are the stories we're tracking at this time. We'll begin from Kaduna State, where the Southern Kaduna People's Union, Tukapu, has accused the federal government of complicity in the attacks and killings in Kajuru communities in Southern Kaduna by Fulumi Hertzman, just as it alleged the use of military drones and other sophisticated weapons in the bloody crisis. According to the body, Following the attacks and killings, the indigents of the affected areas are now fleeing from their ancestral homes. The group called for the intervention of the international community to prevent genocide in the southern Kaduna. Well, now go straight live to Kaduna State, where we are being joined by Luca Abini, and he's the spokesperson for Sukapu. And many thanks for joining us on Galaxy News. Uh, so far from what we hear, uh, you are actually alleging that the federal government has a bit of complicity in the killings that happened in Kajo in southern Kaduna State. Can you give us more concerning your claims? Okay, what I asked was that you said uh, in your statement that you released sometime last week that there's a bit of complicity on the part of the federal government, uh, the presidency that is, as regards the casual killings. Can you tell us more concerning uh, those claims? Yes, there is complicity on the side of the federal government, the complicity of lack of action, the complicity of utterances that are totally not in sync with reality on ground. Um, the president, through his spokesman, Cheo Garba, a uh, few days ago, said that it was revenge and reprisal attacks that are being carried out by the Fulani. That is totally wrong. That is very offensive. And we are banned by that statement. The truth of the matter is that we have innocent sleeping communities that are essentially being invaded by Fulani militia. Their lives taken, their properties born, their foodstuff born, and these marauders retreat into the night with no any kind of intervention from the federal government. We believe that that is some kind of complicity by the lack of inaction of government and its utterance. There is totally no interest on the side of the federal government or in the, on the side of the state government. The state government is even more culpable because at times it takes actions. Yes. More culpable in this particular incidences. Are you saying they have an ax to grind in all of this? And so far you're calling on the international community not to assist in this particular issue. Are you saying that the issue cannot be handled locally? that if Malam Nasser F5 governor of Kaduna State is interested in ending this clash, this so-called clash, which is not a clash as I've said, it is a murderous invasion of innocent people. We believe that if he has the political interest and the will, he is the one that has solution to it. Uh, the ways are because from what we hear from reports we have seen so far, a lot of the indigents are actually fleeing the community. What do you want done in the immediacy? What we have now is a humanitarian crisis in our hands. Um, it is good that at least the Kajuru massacre is being put in the public limelight, but there are other communities that are suffering the same, if not worse, spate of killings. Uh, if you go to uh, bringing Wari Axis, uh, if you go to Chuku, the fringe between uh, Kaduna State and Ninja State, there are at least 12 communities that have been sacked and thousands are homeless and without food to eat. So the immediate thing that our people will need now is number one, food to eat. Number two, where to put their heads. Number three, assurance that even where they are hiding will not be attacked. But as for now, 
believe me, a lot of our people who are affected don't believe that there is a government in Nigeria at all. All right, we have been speaking with a spokesperson for uh, the Kaduna, Southern Kaduna People's Union, uh, talking to us about uh, the killings that have happened in Kajuru, a local government in the southern part of Kaduna State. Uh, our guest was Luca Bini, who joined us on the news this hour. Uh, that's as much as we can take. Uh, the boss continues in a moment. I am Justin Akadoni.